Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a review on the Laser Dreamworks Small Canoe and Medium Colonial Bateau. Um, I'm just going to show the products, the instructions, what you get when you actually purchase it, and then I'll actually come back and just show what the finished product looks like and just maybe just give my opinion on how easy it was to build them. So here we have the small canoe, and it um, comes in a bag just like this. Inside, you have your sheet that shows just the front cover of the product. And then they give you a set of instructions. Now this is a this appears to be a fairly simple kit, so perhaps good just to focus on as far as understanding um, overall what you get as far as instructions and how the instructions look and just a, an impression on an easier build perhaps. Haven't done it yet, so we'll we'll see, but that's my suspicion. Um, this is just built in four steps. And it appears to be fairly straightforward. But also written fairly well. They actually use words that string other words together, which is a real bonus on some of these kits in my experience. This canoe comes with one sort of um, sheet here and it appears to be not MDF but a um, type of wood. It definitely has the burns you know on it from being laser cut. Um, but this one in particular is actually wrapped in plastic. I'm not sure if all of them are, but this one is. Um, just interested to see how this comes off. Well, once getting it started, it appears to come off pretty well. I've never seen with an MDF kit wrapped in plastic like this. Um, I suppose it's good if you want to keep stuff from falling out into the bag. In certain size kits, if you get large kits and you have stuff falling out in the bag, it can just add to your build time to um, determine where things are going. And so that's actually a pretty good idea, as far as I can tell. Um, so it's a bit sticky, so it may even end up pulling the stuff out, so I don't know. But, yeah, actually it's coming off pretty well. Now, the sprue is, um, or I called it a sprue, but like this sheet here is numbered. Um, and it refers to numbers in the instructions, so that's actually a positive thing as well. Alright, well I'm going to build this real quick, and I will show everybody um, what it looks like when it's finished. Um, and then we'll just move on to the medium colonial bateau. Now I'm back with the finished canoe. I'll talk about the build process in a second, but in looking at it, um, I use 25 millimeter square bases. Um, for the bulk of the canoe, the 25 millimeter in single file square bases work just fine. In the picture, when you order it, they're in round bases, which may work even a little bit better. Um, in order to carry six um, natives, you know, which you would use as a standard size for musk and tomahawks, I do have to put some on the front and the back and they go over the, the top edges. I don't really mind that. I mean, it's really just a for a transportation piece. I think that they look pretty good and the canoe looks pretty good. And so I'm quite happy with it. Um, I'll pan back to the actual canoe itself and just show you the end product and talk a little bit about the build process. So this canoe took me less than um, 15 minutes. I just used white glue. Um, it went together really easily. I didn't really need any materials other than a toothpick and some glue to put it together. Maybe the fastest build I've, build I've ever done with anything in the laser cut um, sort of arena. Um, one thing I did notice that was interesting is if you look at the instructions on the last step they do show like um, a middle strut here in addition to these struts in the front and the back. Um, when you actually look at the canoe itself, the kit, you get the front and the back but no middle strut. Now that's actually probably a good thing in the sense that I don't really think um, 
it would make sense to really have the one in the middle. But also when you look at the cover art, there isn't that piece. So I think that might be just um, maybe an earlier rendition or something that was in the instructions that was not intended for the final product. Um, and like I said, I think it's actually a good idea that it's not in there. So this way I can fit my men better. I think the canoe, when you really take a look at it, it looks great. Um, it uh, could be, I think it's intended to be painted. Now, um, they do mention painting. Uh, I, I think it'd really be easy to be primed and painted just as a piece of wood. Um, I'm actually toying with the idea of actually just using a um, sepia wash over the entire thing and then um, using like a varnish over it after that. Interested in what you guys think. Um, it will show still the dark burned areas and then have a bit of a sepia wash on the lighter colored areas. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to do that. Um, this kit, I think, was in the area of um, 10 to $15 US. I think it, it's... The very fact that it goes together so quickly and I think looks really nice, I think it's worth it, the price. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the overall purchase experience when I'm finished with the other kit, just to show the um, the boat, like as opposed to the canoe, if you're interested in purchasing that. So, be right back. And I'm just going to show the kit on the boat as I did with the canoe. So we have the medium boat here. Um, expecting, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm expecting it to be similar in its uh, contents. So we have our front cover art and product information. And then we have the build for the boat. Now, there seems to be maybe one extra step. I'm not really sure. Um, but it, it seems to be a similar level kit. Um, looking at the instructions, fairly written the same way, fairly straightforward. Um, there is, I believe, a rudder on this, so th th there might be just a couple of smaller pieces just to add to it as compared to the canoe. But what I'll do is I'll put it together and um, end up uh, just telling you how it went. Hey everyone, so I've finished my medium bateau, um, and I will talk a little bit about the build, but first I wanted to just show as before how the models fit in it. Now, with my 25mm square bases, I can actually fit a solid unit of um, 10 figures in here without too much difficulty. Now, I do need to shuffle them a bit and have one just sort of leaning on top of another in the wider areas to fit two across. But actually, this is pretty good. Um, I'm quite happy with that. So I have my unit of grenadiers uh, for French Indian War with an officer in the front. Um, plenty of room to put a little swivel gun here or even on the corners actually would probably fit really well because they're small. Um, and yeah, that's actually got my NCO and painted there. I apologize for that. But um, yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. Now I'll come back and just show the actual finished product and talk a little bit about the build. So overall, like before, the model went together fairly quickly. I would say about 20 minutes it took me to put this together. It does have a little bit more to it, slightly, than the canoe, um, both in the number of steps and even in detail on the model. As you can see, there's a lot of detailing for the flooring. This is all cut lightly into it, where you didn't see as much of that on the canoe, which probably makes sense just because um, it is supposed to be more roughly hewn, probably, where this has more planks and things. Um, there are a couple points for those of you that might be interested in getting this exact kit. Uh, there is a rudder as well as um, a bow um, as part of this. And what I would, or prow, I should say, um, I had a couple of, there are a couple of spots where you have to put it through the rudder through some holes and it's really tight and I was worried about breaking the rudder. I could see if not being careful or just having a slight accident you could break this rudder. Um, a little bit less so for the, the prow because it's a bit more heavy duty and you're not going around it as you are in the case of the rudder on, on some of these pieces here. Um, I'm, I am happy with it. I noticed um, in the final picture it shows that the prow and rudder go slightly above the model. Now, 
I didn't add any extra pieces and there are no gaps in the model that I can see but it is my rudder and prow are a little bit more shallow than what it shows in the picture having said that I don't know that I would have really noticed other than the fact that it's different in the picture and buying it I would have bought it just as easily like this as I would have how it's being shown in the picture this is terraced um, they do mention that you can sand the model to make it a little less terraced if you want to be honest for me I don't really care um, I think it, it'll look just fine on the table as is um, again I am wondering whether I just do a sepia wash over it or I paint it having seen this one though I am considering maybe painting it um, I like that sort of natural wood look in the way it was looking for the canoe but I'm not positive that I want the same exact look for the for the bateau um, just showing them side by side here like I think this one would look really cool it's sepia wash I'm not sure maybe this one I will paint um, I like both of them I mean I'm gonna be interested to see how the larger ones look and how much they fit for my purposes I think these are actually working quite well um, I guess what I would just finish up with this review and just say in the purchase experience it was um, delivery was really fast and they were delivered well in a box. Um, this did come from the US to Canada. Um, the only thing that I wasn't that crazy about was the delivery price. I thought the kits themselves, and now after seeing them, are priced fairly. Um, I really like how they go together really quickly, at least for these small boats. Um, delivery charges I always have trouble with sometimes, and so maybe it's not Laser Dreamworks, so maybe it's just me, but you know, when you kind of get to creeping up to half the price of the purchase, where this was over a third, probably less than a half, um, of delivery charges, it can be um, difficult to swallow as far as a purchase. But um, these are um, somewhat unique in the marketplace. I haven't seen a lot of other options like these, and they are really, really nice, in my opinion, as an option um, for your musk and tomahawks or sharp practice boats. And so, I would give this per these guys a thumbs up. I have had reviews where, because of the delivery charges, I've said, you know, I'm just not sure it's worth it, even though I really like the product. In this case, I really like the product, and I think it probably is worth it, um, and uh, even just to pay the, the, the delivery that they have on the site um, for these. And so, um, maybe in the future on the channel, I'll show the larger boats that I've purchased, uh, the canoe and the bateau but um, this is the review of the laser dreamworks canoe and bateau and i hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you later